how to open this sparkling wine and in this particular case champagne now a lot of people find it intimidating but trust me it's not once you know what to do it's very easy now um you notice that this bottle is different from other wine bottles because it has the nice foil on top and then it has the cage underneath which we'll get to so step one we have to remove the foil now it comes with a tab that you can unwrap or if that's too difficult because sometimes they hide the tab with this nice sticker you can just get out your waiter's friend and then just cut it and remove it like that like you do a regular still wine bottle but today we're going to try and just use the tab to unwrap it nicely so there you go you can wrap it around like that and take that foil out now you can see it has the cage the muzzle and of course the cork so step two we need to take off the cage or at least loosen it now this is where we need to start being careful because the pressure in this bottle is almost as much as that in a car tire so it's like 90 psi so it can really cause some damage you have to make sure that you are not pointing the cork at anybody any animal pets don't point it at the window because you could really hurt somebody uh, and as you're loosening it take care to not loosen it completely without securing the top you should always have your thumb and at least a finger on the cork if you once you loosen this cage it's a matter of time before the cork comes out you could literally just let the table the bottle sit on the table and it will shoot out so once we loosen this cage we need to be careful and start acting quick now you can either take the cage completely off or you could just loosen it like that just a little bit so that it gives you that extra layer of protection so once you loosen it then now we start and remember when you're opening this you twist the bottle and not the cork yeah so you twist grab the bottom of the bottle and you twist and definitely please do not try to do the formula one shaking and letting it go so as you can see i'm twisting the bottle and you can see if i I'm still very much controlling the cork, but you can see it's pushing out. And you can just feel it against your hand. And you lean it over to the side just slightly. And that's it. It's actually supposed to come out with a whisper, but that little bit of a pop is not too bad. And now you get to enjoy the champagne after all that hard work. Cheers, guys. Video, I'm going to show you how to use this. Now, this opener is called the waiter's friend, right? Because it's slim, small, you can fit it in your pocket, trouser pocket, apron pocket, and you can take it anywhere with you. It comes with the knife, this lever here, and of course the corkscrew. There's also this bit here for crown beer soda opening, right? So how you use this one is you take out the knife and that's to cut the foil at the top of the bottle. And just so that we remind ourselves, label reading, it's a Pinot Grigio del Venezi, Dominazione de Origine Controllata, 2019, 12%. So you want to cut the foil, either some people do it at the top lip, but the best place to do it is at this bottom lip here. So you want to cut it all round and peel that off. You use your blade, this blade for that. So just hold the bottle steady. You could even put it on a table if that's what you're more comfortable with. And you just peel that off like that. Take that out, all right? And then tuck that back in. 
take out your corkscrew, open it out like that, and then you use this sharp end to dig into the cork and then just start twisting. And you twist until you get to this, to the top of the last turn. Like that, you see that? And then you put it where the first lever, because you can see it has two notches, it has the first notch and the second notch. So let the first lever rest on the top of the bottle. And then of course you just, you know, that would be, you level it up like that. And then you put in the second notch, still just holding it like that. And boom, that's how you use it. Now, this is not a natural cork, it's a rubber cork, so they tend to be a bit more grippy, but they're also easier to handle because they won't break. It's not going to like fragment in there. So this is kinda, if you have a natural cork and it's maybe an older bottle, um, might break in, in between there if the cork is a bit dry, you can still jam it back in, twist, 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 lever it out. And that's all there is to it. So we are going to try and open this bottle of wine with this guy right here, the Two Arm Bandit, I think it's called. Let's see. So of course you need to remove the foil. This has no way of removing the foil, so we'll need to rely on our waiter's friend here because he has the knife. So remember the bottom lip, that's what we'll take out the foil, we just take that out. Then we'll put this away. Then let's try and see if we can do this. It's been a while. I used to be good at using this but I don't quite remember how to do it. So I'm going to try and just figure it out. I'm going to assume that you want the arms up and then you lever them down and pull the cork out of the bottle. But then how you do it is the question. So I don't know if you hold it like that. Maybe you need to like support it on a surface and then maybe just support the, don't restrain the, arms but maybe just like this hood here and then just let's first get a grip and then twist okay why isn't it yes you see with each twist the arms go up 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 so up do it until the arms are all the way up like that see that so the um hood of the opener is in the cork you've twist twisted using the the bottle opener the crown opener bit all the way so it's like a man like with his arms straight out and then you just grab both sides and you pull them down and then you is the cork out. Oh, yeah, I remember it. It's easy. Okay, so that's how you use the two arm bandit. Bye, guys.